I thought I would do a December vlog. I know you guys haven't heard from me for quite a bit. Not That's not because I haven't been doing anything. I've actually been very, very busy. And I hate that I don't have time to vlog anymore and I don't have time to edit these vlogs together anymore, but maybe if I could try to make one vlog a month as kind of like a monthly recap about what I've been up to all month, maybe it'll be easier for me to stay on top of things. And I say that right now completely not even knowing when I'm gonna have time to edit this. I'm just gonna have to try to make it happen. And I'm recording this December 3rd pretty sure it's the third fourth we're on the fourth now i completely lost track of time but anyway um it's the start of a new month we are doing a crafty card exchange in the magical moon collective so that's what i'm working on right now i'm trying to kind of figure out what i want to do i have some ideas i think i want to go a little woodland themed this year i'm um, thinking maybe mushroom ornaments or like a mushroom little string garland of some sort it's a very small group this year last year and the year before we've probably had like maybe 10 to 15 participants maybe even 20 the first year and it's just dwindled over the years and now it's down to like four of us <laughs> it's four of us i guess times are just tough people don't have the resources and the money and maybe even the time to put toward doing something like this but for the four of us that are involved i am very excited to put these packages together for you so i'm going to take a look through my stash i don't know what kind of fabric i have um i have not crafted in probably a long time probably maybe not even since last christmas i have not done many craft projects i've mostly been podcasting and making music so that's where my focus has been and um i really really am feeling the call to get back to the vlog and back to the craft the craft projects i really haven't even done much much of my own craft much witchcraft lately so i'm kind of lacking in that department as well it's just like so I guess I'll take this time now to look through my fabric. I really don't know what I have, so I'm gonna go through that and I guess we'll start something. I don't know what we're gonna do here. We're just gonna wing it and fly by the seat of our pants and put something together. I only have four to make this year, but I might make a few extra because I have some other people I wanna send some things to just as a little uh, holiday sentiment, let them know I'm thinking about them and some people who sent me some stuff in the past that I wanna return the sentiment. So I'm gonna go see what I have now. So let's do that. I forgot I had these. These are, I was, I did some Scandinavian, I think they're Scandinavian, no sew ornaments last year that I have a few left and then I, I never, I never finished them. So I don't even remember how to finish them. So even if I wanted to, I'd have to look up the project again. I forgot I have this cute little embroidery kit. Never even touched it. My sister-in-law, I believe, gave this to me. So I'm gonna do that. I have this really pretty fabric. Very Christmassy. Here's my sewing kit. I think I'm gonna need that. And voila! Here's all of my fabric. So this was the fabric that I used last year for my Scandinavian ornaments. I'm thinking that this fabric might be too thin though for what I wanna do. I'm thinking I wanna make like a little string garland of some sort. So I'm thinking felt might be the way to go, but I'm not sure if I have enough fabric. I wanna do little mushrooms. So I'm thinking I'm gonna need more red. Ooh, I think I hit the jackpot. I have a whole bunch. <gasps> I found a whole bunch of red, so I think we're in business. And for the little stems, I have tons of earthy colors, tons of earthy. I have these scraps I can try to use up. I never get rid of like scraps like this because I can always use them for little stuff like this. And then you don't have to cut into a whole piece and ruin a whole piece. I also have this color. Maybe I'll alternate the stem colors. Maybe I'll even alternate the um, cap colors. What is this? Oh, I think I was making an acorn. A little acorn poppet. Yeah, I think I was making an acorn poppet. <laughs> How cute is that? I do have a little acorn poppet activity up on my Patreon under my printables tier. So go check that out if you want a little acorn poppet. Show you how to make that. I never did a video on it though, I don't think so. If you guys want to see a video on that, let me know. Here's the pattern for it. I make all I made all these patterns myself. <laughs> Teach you how to make an acorn poppet. And you know, you could stuff herbs and spices and crystals and cat whiskers. I don't know about you, but I go around my uh, house when I'm cleaning and sometimes I find cat whiskers laying around that my cats I guess shed or whatever. Don't pluck them from your cat's face though for your projects. I have a whole jar of 
cat whiskers that I found over the past like three, four years of being a cat mommy. A little kitty cat whiskers in your pocket as like a little good wish, good luck charm. And it's just a cute little thing to have on your altar in the fall. You could sleep with your little poppet under your pillow if you want to do some prophetic poppet dreaming. I don't know. There's so many things you could do with poppets. All right, so I have the red for the caps and I have these different color neutrals for the bases. I'm wondering if I should do a white cap with red beads. And I'm thinking the beads will be the little spot I usually like to include some beading in my felt ornaments. I also do have green, so I could do some green ones if I want to do red and green and white, maybe. Maybe I'll do six per garland. I'm not sure if I like the darker green or the lighter green, though. I think I like the darker green. All right, I think I kind of have an idea. Now I need to figure out some kind of pattern and then I can start cutting these out. And also I have to figure out how many mushrooms I want on these garlands. Oh, I also found a darker green. I kind of like the darker green. I can't put too many on the garland, otherwise it's gonna take a very long time. I have about four of these to make and then I may make a few extra for um, some other cards that I might send out, but I guess we'll figure that out. All right. I have some scraps here I can use up and already cut into piece so I might use that first just to use it up and it's all about being resourceful. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I guess the next thing that we want to do is I guess figure out some kind of pattern. All right so I googled mushroom sewing pattern and a bunch of stuff came up and I found this website called artofit.org. There's a few different ones. Ooh, these are really cute. Those might be too detailed though so I might actually go with the very first one. It seems the most straightforward. This one and this one. Maybe I'll do a combination of the two like alternate every other mushroom will be different. And then these are cute because they have the little what do you call these? I don't know what you call that little thing on the mushroom. So I might use a combination of a few different of these. All right, so I'm trying to kind of figure out how big I want these. I don't think they need to be any bigger than three inches. I think I'm going to import my little mushrooms here into a three by three document just to make sure these are each standing at about three inches just so I don't go over my designated amount that I'm allotting each ornament. So I'm going over to Canva and I'm going to create a new design, a custom design. Let's do three by three inches. So this grid, this square is three by three. Let's import the stuff that I just carried over to my desktop. So we have a couple different ones, but I'll upload all of them. So I'm gonna make each one its own individual pattern. So let's add three pages. First page will go here. I'm going to crop and make this the entire height of the page. Just so I know it's three by three approximately. Okay, we'll do the next one. I think I like this one. Okay, I just downloaded those to my desktop. So now I have my three mushroom images. All right, I have not printed anything in a hot minute, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> All right, here goes nothing. These actually might be too big, but we'll see. Now comes the test. All right, so if they're a little too big, a little bigger than what I was anticipating. They could shrink down a whole inch, basically. Okay, so I resized them a little bit. As you can see, that was like four inches. This is about three and a half. It's not exactly three inches, but I think this could work. I think these are a pretty good size. So I think I'm gonna roll with these. Yeah, I think it's pretty close. So I think this is our pattern. And also I have to figure out which mushrooms I want what colors. So I think that's the next order of business. Maybe I'll do red with white dots and some kind of neutral bottom. I'll do the tall one in the middle, which will probably be the white one. And then the end one maybe will be the green one. So it'll be red, white, green, as far as the tops go. like so 
and that'll be the top pattern, that'll be the bottom pattern. Let's mark it so I know. These will be the red. That'll be the green. And then this will be my white one. I'm thinking for the dots, I might not even do felts. Maybe I can do rhinestones or something. I think that'll be a lot prettier. And then I don't have to worry about cutting out a whole other pattern just for the dots. This one's gonna be a little tricky. So then it's a little shorter too, it's not as tall. I don't need it that tall, so let's make it a little shorter and that'll be my white one. Okay, so just to recap, here are my pieces and I also forgot to write down. This is my white one. So we have red, white, green. What we're gonna do now, I need to decide, do I want to double these up so like have back facing felt? Cause I'm gonna probably sew these together. For my red ones, I'm thinking this is what I'm gonna do. So just to show you. sew these caps together and just make sure they match. So that's my cap. Now we have these really big circles. So instead of felt circles, I'm thinking maybe rhinestones. I have this huge tub of rhinestones here. So I actually do have rhinestones big enough. They don't cover the whole surface area of that circle, but I mean, they're big enough that I think they will make some kind of impact here. I think I'm gonna roll with that. I think I'm gonna do rhinestones. We have another one here. So we have about four or five rhinestones. And then maybe a couple smaller ones. Maybe one like that size. And then a small one here. So that'll be the rhinestone. That'll be the pattern after I sew that together. But first, we need to do the base, this little part. I have to figure out what color I want to use. Do I want a white base? Do I want a more neutral base? Like that's really pretty. And then I also have, is this a lighter color or is this the same thing? It's a little lighter. Okay. And then the fun part is sewing these all together, AKA the most tedious part. So tedious, just sewing everything together. And then the gems, I can just hot glue those right on. Okay, so stick those together. All right, so that's one of them. That's one little mushroom. I think I'm gonna have to sew that together first and then sew the little cap and then sew this inside like so. So I think that's how I'm gonna have to do it. And I'm gonna do like a loop stitch around the entire thing so it's gonna look really cute. We're gonna put that one aside for now and we're gonna work on the next pattern, which is the white cap. All right, now I don't know if I have red rhinestones because I think red would probably be better in this case because I don't think these would show, these are gonna show up that well. So I think red would be a better choice here, but let me see what I have. I have these sequins <gasps> and they just fell everywhere. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about those. I might have to see if I can find my Christmas buttons because I know I had red and green Christmas buttons, but I might have used them all last year. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about the sequins. I do have some buttons in here from last year. These are little gingerbread men that I made a couple years ago. I do have some red buttons. I do buttons. But these are probably gonna be a pain in the ass to sew on, so I might just glue them, something like that. Or I can just go pick up some red rhinestones if I wanna keep with the rhinestone theme. So I could do that. I don't know how I'm feeling about the buttons. I might have to go pick up some red rhinestones so I can match with that one. And now I have to do the base. 
have this little squiggly thingy and this part. I might do maybe the lighter one for the base and then do I have any darker brown? Yeah, this one is a little darker so I could use that one for that smaller part. Oh, wrong way. I may do the white rhinestones for this one too. Call these little white things on the head of a mushroom. I really don't even know what those are called. I don't really know that much about mushrooms other than they're adorable. They're fucking cute. That looks really cute. So I'm thinking I definitely need to get red rhinestones to match with the other ones because I think the buttons just kind of throw this one off. It's like bling 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 and buttons. <laughs> and I think I kind of like the bling all across the board. So there's my mushrooms, my little cutouts. Now it's time to sew them. And then after I sew them, I am going to need some kind of string. So I have some errands I have to run at work today. So while I'm out, I might hit up Michael's and see if I could find some kind of really pretty holiday ribbon to attach these two, like a garland or maybe some kind of like twine or some kind of hemp string or something really simple and cheap to string these together with. All right, so what do I need? Do I even have enough thread for all of this? But should I get another spool of white while I'm out? I don't have any brown. So I'm going to need brown. So let me write down a list of what I need. All right, so I got my little list of stuff that I'm gonna pick up at the craft store a little later on. So I'm thinking that's really cute. I'm really liking where that's going. I'm thinking I might round this out with another red one on the end. So it'll be a string of four, cause I think that's kind of small for a little garland. So I might do a string of four. So I'll bookend it with the red one. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So now I have to do the math and figure out how many of these mushroom garlands am I going to make? I have three to make for my Magical Moon Collective girls, and then I'll probably make like a couple more. Now I have to do some girl math. <laughs> Anyway, I think I'm going to try to finish doing all the cutting first and then I can do the sewing. That's gonna be a long and tedious process. It always is. So I have to take that into consideration. Just kind of trying to think out loud here. So cut, sew, blue rhinestones, glue onto the string. So that's the plan. I'm gonna finish cutting these out. I'll be back when I have stuff to sew together. And then also, yeah, I'm gonna go on my little shopping trip later on. So maybe I'll take you with me if you wanna come. See you later. One day later. Hello.
hello, hello, hello. It is December 7th, Thursday, about one day past between the last time you saw me making these mushrooms. I had to stop because I wanted to go to Michael's. I was gonna go yesterday, but then I didn't have time. So I think I'm gonna try to get to Michael's today and get some more supplies. Um, so right now I'm actually working on sewing together the little stems of the mushrooms. I have the taller ones for the red tops and then I have the smaller ones for the green tops. I was running into a little, not an issue, but like I couldn't figure out how to attach the bottoms to the tops because like they're a little thick so it's hard to line up completely and I tried stitching it like that but then things shift around and it gets really wonky and it gets kind of annoying so I came up with a little bit of a solution. I'm gonna sew the bottoms first with the white thread, hand stitched, okay? Then once that's done, I attach the top Use the same color thread as the felt so it blends in. Attach one top, see, it's kind of sloppy, but that's gonna be covered up, so it's fine. And then once one side is attached, then add the other side, use a different color thread and stitch around. So it's like a whole finished piece. So I think that's how I'm gonna do them. <laughs> So that's what I'm working on right now. I have to leave in like a half an hour. I have to go to the bank and then I have to go to work. So I probably won't be able to return to this until tonight. But while I'm at work, luckily me and my nanny child, she has a half a day for school today. So I'm gonna take her to lunch and then I'll probably drag her to Michael's. <laughs> I don't know how much vlogging I'll do today or later for that matter. I just kind of wanted to focus on getting these mushrooms done. It is December 7th and I have to get these cards out by the 10th. I don't know if that's gonna happen. <laughs> I did design a card, so I just have to print those out. And if I have sticker paper, I can include some stickers or some kind of, some kind of paper. I might include a tea or a hot chocolate packet and maybe put my own label on the hot chocolate packet. Yeah, I have quite a bit of work cut out for me. I only have four or five people in my, actually no, I only have three people in my card exchange this year. However, I do have patrons still, surprisingly, because I've been a horrible patroner. <laughs> I've been a horrible creator, so I would like to send my patrons something for the holidays since I didn't send out my normal Halloween card mail out this year because I was very, very busy with- I had a Salem trip, I had podcast stuff, I had studio stuff, music stuff, so things were very, very busy for me in October, so I felt really bad I was not able to send anything out for the Halloween season, so I kind of want to send out something for Christmas to all my patrons, regardless of what tier they're on, because, yeah, I owe them. So um, I hope I have everybody's address. That's kind of the thing. It's like reaching out to people and getting the addresses is kind of a bit of a pain in the ass. But anyway, I got about three of the red mushroom bases done and then three of the green bases done. I also do have to do the white because the white ones have this funky little uh, little flap thing. I don't know what you call them. What do you call these things? But it looks like that. These are gonna be a little more time consuming, so I think I'm just gonna save these for last. But I think I'm gonna go now. I have to get ready to go to work. Um, I just wanna show you Punky really quick because he's just chilling in my office while I'm doing things. Punky, Punky, you taking naps? So, so this is what my desk looks like right now. It's kind of a mess. I have a cat here and I have to print cards later. I have to change that sign. <laughs> That's a, that's a year old. And I also have to design a new 2024 calendar. So thank you for reminding me. That's all I have for now. I will be back later to sew more mushrooms. Okay, I'll, be, I'll talk to you later. Five hours later. So it is much later uh, tonight. Still December 7th? Yeah. I got a package from a patron, a Magnolia Street patron from Alora. And I can't wait to open this. Thank you for sending this to me, Alora. I think I might be able to get this off of here. What can this be? It's probably definitely practical magic related since she is a practical magic. Um, one of our podcast listeners so let's see what Laura has sent up. Ooh, is... Oh, okay. How cute. Okay, so it's, oh, how cute. It says, Justina, just a little something to say thank you for your amazing podcast. Happy Yule and Winter Solstice. Laura. And she's at peace underscore love underscore dogs underscore VWS. And this is just the cutest little card. Look at all the witchy symbols. How cute. And then the back of the card says, Witch Canyon is owned by Scarlett Manson, aka at Scarlet Fairy Queen on Instagram. She and her witchy friend Raven run a metaphysical shop, Raven Moon's Oracle, in Western PA. Scarlet is moving to Scotland soon. So I bought out all her midnight margaritas 
Margarita Soap Supply. Enjoy! And this is Witch Canyon Midnight Margaritas Aromatic Soap made with 100% pure love. And the bottom says put the lime in the coconut. And the ingredients are saponified oils of coconut, olive, and castor, shea butter, fragrance, lime, essential oil, kaolin clay, sodium lactate, and sea salt. Small batch made in Dubois, PA, 15801, witchcanyon.com. Mmm. Mmm, my god, this smells so amazing. People love sending us soap, I'm telling you. That's the cute little soap bar. It smells amazing. So, very cute. Thank you so much, Laura, for the Midnight Margarita Soap. And also, thank you to the girls, Scarlet and Raven, over at their metaphysical shop. I will link them in the description down below. Thank you so much. That was really sweet. Love it. All right back to the mushrooms. So today I went to Michael's and I did a little splurging. Are you ready for this? I spent $22 on a complete gem box. <gasps> I only needed green and they didn't have only green. They only had green in this huge kit, but I figure if I buy all the colors, I won't ever have to buy any colors again. So I'll have this indefinitely for as many projects as I need. So I bought those because I needed more gems to put on my little mushroom thingies. I got this really cool felt that I wanted to show you. Okay, so as you guys saw, the felt that I'm using is very kind of plain, right? Kind of plain. It's, you know, basic brown. When I went to the store, I found this felt, which I don't know if you could tell on the camera, but it has a little more texture, which kind of to me looks like dirt on a mushroom. So I thought it looked cooler than this typical brown felt. So I got a couple sheets of that. I only saw two left in the bin, so I just grabbed the last two. Anyway, I'm almost done sewing together my, the bases on my mushrooms. Each set is going to get two red mushrooms, a green mushroom, and then the white mushroom, which I have not sewn any of these yet. So I'm thinking I might recut this one with the new felt I just bought. So that will be what the white one looks like but I'm gonna use the other felt. I guess these will get the red gems, and then maybe these will both get clear gems. I don't know. Unless I put green gems on the red one and the white gems on the green one. Um, I'm still kind of trying to figure that out. Unless I put white on both of these and then red on the white one, or some green. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Still trying to figure that out. But anyway, back to sewing. And while I'm sewing, I'm just watching some Vlogmas vlogs. Um, some of my favorite ones are Raya and Louie. They have some fun ones and Laura in the Kitchen's got some new recipes. I really love Dainty Diaries. I really love... There's so... I follow so many people on here, but those are like some of the ones. I've been watching uh, Morgan Long. I've been watching some of her Vlogmas stuff. I've also been really obsessed with Chateau renovators lately, so my favorite right now is the Beau Chateau, but they haven't uploaded in like two weeks, so I'm getting a little impatient. <laughs> But I know they're busy. They're very busy. <laughs> Renovating a freaking gorgeous castle mansion. So yeah, I'm just gonna get back to work here and watch some vlogmas. Or sandpaper tongue. I'm watching a vlog right now from a girl, I think her name is Allison, but it's like all caps and like spaces between her letters and her name. So if you try to search her on YouTube, that's how it's spelled.
so it is a very, very rainy day here in New Jersey. It's Sunday. I'm almost done with my ornaments. Initially, I was gonna make a garland kind of deal with like string, but I'm like, there's only five mushrooms on here or four. I don't know how much surface area this is gonna cover. Somebody's trying to like, you know, wrap this on a tree or something. But then I thought, what if I made like a vertical hanging type deal? So I might make a wall hanging. So I finished stitching all the mushrooms last night. Right now, I'm actually out getting lunch for Avi. My husband has been sick for the past few days or so. So this is like the first day in a few days that he's actually been craving solid food. <laughs> he's had just had soup the past few days, but he wanted a sub, so I went and picked him up a giant sub from Jersey Mike's. So just got his sub. I'm gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts and surprise him with some donuts, because I asked him if he wanted anything else. He said no, but I'm kind of craving donuts, and I kind of want to see what the uh, Christmas donut selection is like. I've been trying to do things to get me in the Christmas spirit because I have not been able to decorate. Since last week, Avi was working on photos, so he couldn't do the tree last weekend, and this weekend he's sick, so we have not been able to do the tree. You know, aside from Christmas crafting, I bought some stuff to bake, but I don't know if I'm gonna have the time to bake today, so I think I'm just gonna get some donuts and surprise Avi with some donuts. So here's the goods. <sighs> Got some chocolate. I just thought these were so cute. So I'm gonna go surprise Avi with these now. I hope this makes him feel better. All right, I'm home with the donuts and the sub. But now I gotta leave the car and it's pouring. Here goes nothing. Ugh. It's all the Christmas ones. So, last night I finally finished sewing my mushrooms, which felt like for freaking ever. Um, these took me probably like a good three days to finish all of them. So I have about five that I'm gonna send out to the people who are actually a part of the Crafty Card Exchange. I only have to send out three technically, but then also I'm gonna send out one to my friend Christina who is also my podcast partner. I'm gonna send her a nice little Christmas package. And then a couple other people because they sent me something nice for the holiday season or just in general over the past like month or two. I don't wanna be like tit for tat, but it's just nice. It's nice to return the sentiment. So right now, since I finished sewing all of my little mushrooms, I was toying around with a couple ideas. Initially when I designed this project, my idea was to have it be like kind of like a garland type deal. I would have had them like on a little string like this to hang from somewhere. But I don't know, like, is that enough slack to hang up on anything? I really don't know. So then I was thinking it might be cool to make a little loop on top and then instead do kind of like a vertical wall hanging. Something like that. And then on the bottom, I would put like a little bell or something cute, something very Christmassy. So those are my two options. I think I'm leaning toward the uh, the vertical wall hanging. I think that might be really cute to hang on a wall around Christmas time. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that. 
I've kind of secretly been enjoying holding myself up in my studio for the past few days. Not only because my husband's sick and I don't want to get whatever he has, so I'm trying to limit my exposure to being really close to him or hanging out with him too much. I've been popping in and out just making sure he's got what he needs. I just really don't want to get sick. I cannot afford to get sick. My 40th birthday is coming up, so I'm going to try my damnedest to not get sick, but we can't always control these things. I'm doing what I can to keep him quarantined, to keep me away from him, but then also still making sure he's nourished and eating and getting his fluids and all that stuff and taking his NyQuil and all that stuff. So I've been kind of enjoying being in my studio all weekend and catching up on I've been consuming a lot of Raya and Louie vlogs and everybody's vlogmas vlogs I've been really enjoying watching and I've been feeling really left out and I have never done vlogmas I don't have the bandwidth to do vlogmas you gotta you gotta film all day then you gotta edit all night and I'm just like I don't I don't have the energy for that <laughs> Or the computer space, probably. So I'm fine just watching it, but this is my little contribution to the, I guess, Christmas YouTubes. Which I mean, we'll see. You probably won't even see this vlog till like May. <laughs> Cause that's just how I roll. I'm way behind on everything. All right, so I'm gonna fire up my glue gun. I have some buttons here from the past couple years projects that I can play around with. And then also, I don't know if I show, I think I already showed you guys, I got rhinestones in every single color. So I'm gonna fire up my glue gun, start rhinestoning my little mushrooms. I think that's what I'll do first. Oh, and then also besides these little wall hangings, cause I'm only making like five of these little wall hanging doodads. The rest of the mushrooms that I made will just be little card inserts for my other patrons who are not a part of the Crafty Card Exchange. So I did make extra for just like little individual ornaments. So I think that's what I'm gonna do with the rest of them. I have this cool Christmassy string, like a little loop, loopy loop. And then on the back, pop on a little button, little buttons, like so. I try to do a Christmas ornament every year. Um, the first year I think I did poinsettias um, or gingerbread men. I forget which what the order, order was, but so far I've done gingerbread men, poinsettia ornaments. Last year I did soulless, I think they're like Scandinavian stars or Moravian stars or something like that. I had some of those left. So basically you cut like strips and then like you somehow, you fold up the tops like triangles so then like it turns into some kind of star shape. I didn't sew my ornaments last year. I just did this little foldy fold thing. So basically it's a lot of cutting and a lot of pressing with your iron. So that's what I did last year. Um, and I was like, last year I need a break from needle and thread and understandably so because I've been sewing these, I've been hand stitching these for the past three days and my thumb is killing me, my thumb hurts. <laughs> And I also have a sensitive spot on the tip of this finger from the needle, the, the back end of the needle, rubbing up against it while I'm, you know, trying to push it through the felt. So my hands are a little sore right now. So I'm glad I'm done with the sewing portion. So now I'm going to get my hot glue gun out and probably burn myself. So <laughs> on to the next masochistic portion of this project. <laughs> so lovey right now. It's hard to get anything done with this. <laughs> Give me lovey girl. <laughs> Give me lovey girl. Lovey girl. You gonna go lay up there? Or you wanna sit on mommy's lap?
You want snacks? You want kip kip? Kibi? Missy's got a sweet tooth. Is that the green one or the red one? Not the green. She wants the nuts. She wants donuts. <laughs> Kenoff has the donuts. You want kitty diabetes? Time for a Jonah break. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> I just crave a donut. Mm. That's good. Okay, so this will be the little hook. All right, guys, I'm done with my little hanging ornament thingies. 
Um, so these are going to my Crafty Christmas Card Exchange attendees, as well as a couple other friends. And these are going to all of my other patrons that didn't sign up for the Christmas Card Exchange, but I would still like to send them a little something as a thank you for their patronage. I made so many, guys. I made so many. I'm a little burnt out right now, so I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a break, maybe make some bolognese, and then when I'm done with dinner, I think I might sit down and start printing out cards. I designed a card on Canva. Not my own illustrations, I honestly did not have time for that this year, but I managed to do a cute little collage using woodland animals and little watercolor hats and scarves and stuff. So my my Christmas card this year is a Canva collage, I guess you could call it. I even found a, a black and orange clip art watercolor kitties on Canva, so um, Coraline and Punky. So they're gonna be on the inside of the card. And then I have so many packages of hot chocolate, so I might insert a package into the card and include some kind of like little hot chocolate spell. I'm hoping I have more labels left because I think I'm going to make a cute little label for the hot chocolate packet so it doesn't say like Swiss Miss on it. So I'm thinking I'm making, gonna make my own hot chocolate labels, like really something really cute and wintry. And then also on the other side, I'll be able to put like a little spell, winter warmth spell or something like that. I thought that would be cute and fun to include along with my little ornaments and my homemade card and that's just a nice little sentiment for the winter but i'm gonna take a little bit of a break i can't even talk straight i'm gonna take a little bit of a break so i will be back i will be back in a little bit okay bye one day later So I've designed these little hot cocoa winter warmth spell labels, courtesy of Canva. This is not my art, uh, but I collaged it. I designed this label using their clip art. And I also have the back, a little hot cocoa spell. So I'm going to label these regular Swiss Miss packets. And this is a nice little winter warming spell that my recipients can use this winter to keep themselves nice and cozy. So I'm gonna label these Swiss Miss packets now. <laughs> It is cold out today. Yesterday, it was so warm outside. Um, I came outside to get some clippings of our arbovetti tree. I think I'm saying that right. Arbovitti, arbovetti, arbovitti, arbovitti, armini. <laughs> um, but anyway, this is what it looks like. Last year, it wasn't doing so well. There wasn't, there wasn't a lot to work with, but this year, this past spring, we got a lot of new growth, so I'm gonna take a clipping. Um, I like to include some greenery in my Yule cards, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm a clip clippity clip away. Oh, let's sit you down here. You see me?
got a lot here. I hope that's enough. If not, I'm gonna have to come back out, but my hands are freaking cold. It is so cold outside, so I think I'm gonna go make some hot chocolate. I gotta go to work soon, so I might have to finish these cards up later.
Everything smells like fish oil. <laughs> well, you could wash your socks separately. <laughs> what? What is that? FBI man this up. show is bananas. Very nice. I can't. I had a problem with a fish. Took a liking to my percolator. Like, what are they even talking about? Why don't about? you ask her? Cozy tea. Get your boots off my bed and go to your room! You tell them. I didn't want to put mink oil on my bed. Mink oil? Mm. Why is this guy crying? Oh. His daughter was murdered. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know what's going on right now in this show. Do -do 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 -do. Things are getting like really weird now. So I can't even tell you what's going on. Oh, that was a dream. Okay, I was like, what? <laughs> what did that mean? <gasps> he knows who killed Laura Palmer. What's up, baby? Hey. <laughs> what are you doing? He's like so stealth about it. You can't actually, you can't even be over here because I have essential oil stuff out. Hey, okay, come on, you are relentless, buddy. You wanna put your bed up here? I'll put your bed up. Hold on. 
Let's put your bed up here. You got so used to laying up here. Here you go, bud. Hey, look, your bed's here. Your beddy. There you go. Yeah, I know you want your bed. I might not need to get another one tomorrow. I found it. I found it. Okay. All right, you guys. It is 1.30 in the morning on a Monday night, which means tomorrow's Tuesday, which means I have to record a podcast episode tomorrow. And I have not even looked over notes. I have not even looked over the notes, but it'll be fine. I'm in the home stretch here. Pretty much all of my stuff, all my cards are filled out. All the little bits and pieces and odds and ends are in everything. Everything is addressed. Everything is packaged. Everything is stickered. I put these little, I put these little stickers on everything. So I, you know, everything is sticked. Everything is stick, stuck, stucked, and stamped. How cute is that? I only did five of these larger packages for the people who are actually doing the card exchange on top of like two other girls. These larger pieces are going to them. I think I might actually make one of these for myself. I mean, it probably isn't so bad if you're just doing like one of these, but uh, five of these plus like 15 additional little ornaments was a lot. <laughs> And I did it in like four days. On top of designing a card, on top of designing all the content inside all the envelopes, and I'm whispering because it's 1.30 in the morning and my husband's sleeping. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wrap these and I'm gonna stick them in the envelopes because these are the last little bits that I have to add before I seal up the envelopes and send them on their merry way. So I really wanna get these out tomorrow. So we'll see if that happens. So I have some paper here. It might be a little thick though, so I don't know. Let's see what I can do. Maybe I'll just wrap it in some tissue paper. This is a little daintier, a little light, more lightweight. My printer's going crazy. I think it just went to sleep. Anyway, so that is what I'm doing now, and I want to get this done quickly so then I can go to bed. All right, let's do it. Maybe that one. That's cute. And I have red ink, so that'll show up on my package.
you. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. We are going to CVS. Um, ooh, that didn't sound good. <laughs> anyway, um, so the last shot you probably saw was me working on the packages two nights ago. I finished putting everything in the envelopes, everything's ready to go. The packages are sealed, the envelopes are not because I realized all of the glue sticks that I had are old and crusty and don't glue any. They, they're not even doing their, their, the bare minimum of their job anymore. They are hard as a rock, not even tacky, just solid bricks. So I had to throw all those away. Um, I took a break yesterday because I had to record a podcast episode in the morning and then I worked all afternoon and then by the time I got home I was toast and I just was a vegetable zombie on the couch because I was so freaking tired from pulling the all-nighter on Monday, trying to get everything packaged up and ready to go. I actually had to run to the post office for my boss yesterday, and I had some packages with me, but then I was like, ah, I never got the end shot, the end result of all my beautiful packages together, and I just kinda wanna send them all out together. So I brought the packages home, so then I can seal the envelopes, get the final shot of everything together, and then send them all out together. I'll probably send them out today, because I think I'm only doing a pickup and a drop-off at work, so I'll have the time after work. I think I get out around four, and then I'll go to the post office, the post office that I went to yesterday. I'll go to the same one. That one I think is open until seven. Most of the post offices around here are only open till like four, five o'clock. So I'll have to go to the other one, and then everything will be sent on its merry way. But right now I'm gonna go to CVS and get a glue stick and come back, bang out the rest of packaging or sealing up my envelopes so then I can get everything bagged and ready to go for later this afternoon. So that is what we're doing now. I I left my office door open because Punky was all snuggled up in his bed and I didn't want to move him and I felt bad so I really hope he just stays the fuck there and um, when I come back my office isn't in shambles because typically I don't like leaving my cats alone when my office door is open because there's a lot of stuff in there that they can get into and break and like all my little nicky knackies and there's stuff on the wall. I have a, um, a shelf on the wall that holds some tarot decks and my flower crowns and you know some glass stuff but it's like that thing is only designed to hold like 10 pounds and Punky is definitely over that because he gets into the trash and he eats a lot. He manages sometimes to get onto that shelf but I always have to get him down because I'm like I don't know how long this thing is gonna hold your weight. So I gotta, you know, watch him with that. So I really hope he doesn't do anything stupid while I'm not there for like the five minutes that I'm not there because CVS is literally right around the corner. So I'm just gonna go there and get my glue sticks and go back and get to work. When I leave for work in the afternoon, I get the cats out of there, whether they're comfy or not, and I close the door while I'm gone because I just don't want them getting into shit. All right, coming up on CVS, let's get some glue. to get this done. I have totes in the hallway because I want to decorate for Christmas, but the past two weekends have been impossible. Two weekends ago, Avi was editing photos all weekend, so we couldn't do it then. And then this past weekend, he was sick, so we couldn't do it then, but I made him take the stuff down. Not while he was sick, in between his photos and getting sick. Hi, Beanie Bean. What are you doing? You being cutie boy? Oh, you're so stretchy. You're so cute, Bean Bean. You're so cute. I'm gonna snuggle mommy this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Sweetie boy. All right, so all that's left is I have to seal these with the glue stick because I ain't licking all these envelopes. And then I have this washi tape that I can decorate them with. So that's on the agenda now. I have about one hour to finish all them and get them all bagged and ready to go. Oops, sorry, I'm trying to straighten at my desk while having a conversation. And then I will send these out later on today. It is Wednesday the 13th, so I am actually three days behind schedule. I was, but the deadline that I put in our event page was the 10th, but that didn't happen. So we're gonna just roll with what's going on here. And So I guess let's just get to business here. 
time to glue. Yes, and this is where you have to try that. Who the hell is Diane? Diane, if I had to put a prediction to it at this point in the uh, series, Diane gotta be the secretary maybe for broken up. But is he mailing her these tapes? Yeah, it's just a tape. By the way, I bought this washi tape on Amazon, oh, yes, yes, absolutely great. sucks. So, yeah, All the adhesive right comes off on the rest of the roll, and the, the part that you want to seconds. stick on the envelopes does not stick. So these are actually trash. <laughs> trash! <laughs> So this one actually does still stick, so I'm just gonna kill the rest of this roll. I think I might be approaching the end of this roll, which is fine, because I'm not really a fan of these metallic rolls anyway. <laughs> but they work for Christmas. Oh, there it is. That's the end. All right, so I have some other Christmas ones. This one's really pretty. It's very woodsy. All of my envelopes and packages are done. They're sealed, they're signed, they're ready to go. Beanie has been an amazing little elf slash co-pilot. Right, Bean? Right, Bean Bean? <laughs> He's so sweet. He laid here most of the video. <laughs> most of this project, I was working away here at my desk. He's just been laying here alongside of me. Coraline has been in bed most of this time. But he loves watching me work and he loves his bed. I would say this is this was a great investment. I'm pretty sure we got these beds last year at Walmart or two years ago. And he loves it so much. Coraline, not so much. Coraline, she likes flat surfaces. She likes to lay on like flat, flat surfaces. So most of the time she's on this end of my desk, on this little blanket, but I've had this entire surface covered most of this week, so poor baby couldn't lay up here for like the past two nights. So she usually comes in here screaming her little head off like, meow, come lay on the couch with me. That's exactly what she says. I understand her. We have a, you know, we have language. Sometimes things get a little lost in translation though, but for the most part, when she comes in here screaming at me past midnight, it's because she can't lay here because there's no space or because she wants me on the couch. Anyway, I'm gonna pack these up now and uh, I'm gonna send them out later. So, so I'm not sure. Maybe this is the end of the vlog. Maybe we'll keep going. If this vlog isn't as long as I, you know, anticipate, it might be kind of long. 
because it's a whole process. So I do want to let you guys know that all of the card and stuff, the card design, all of this stuff was done on Canva. I did not illustrate any of these. But if you want the card design, the collage that I did, it's very cute. Oh, this one's upside down. This was a test test run. But look at the I got Coraline and Punky in there. I managed to find an illustration of a black and orange cat. So I included them in my holiday card this year, as well as some other woodland critters. I put all the Santa hats and scarves on them, and um, the mushrooms, I put them on top of the mushrooms. And I put the little bow on the mushroom, I put them on the background, and I kind of created a little bit of a collage background. I had, I have like parchment on here, and some like illegible text, and some illustrated pine needles. And I put the little lights up there, and the little garland up there. So I mean, I collaged it all together. I did not illustrate any of it, but I did collage it if that counts. But anyway, if you guys want to download this card design and use it for your own holiday greeting this uh, holiday season, check me out on Patreon. I'm at patreon.com slash bohemian magic studios. Also, I will be offering some other stuff up on my Patreon as well. So the little hot cocoa uh, warming spell that I am sending out in my packages, my larger packages. So cute. If you guys want to make your own little warming spell hot chocolate packets, you just, you know, buy like Swiss Miss or whatever brand and then you guys can print these out. I'll post the labels for these also on my Patreon as well. And I think I'm also going to do a video on the warming spell and just demonstrate how I would do the warming spell with some hot cocoa. So if you guys want to see that, head over to my Patreon. And then one other thing that I want to show you guys that I created for this year, and I've been doing this the past few years or so. I think I've done one like maybe the past, since 2020 at least. I've been doing moon phase calendars for the year. So this is this year's design. I'm really loving it. I'm really feeling like a woodland mushroomy kind of forest theme this year with like woodland critters. So again, I hit up Canva got some of their clip art and I designed this calendar and looked up all the dates for the um we have the new moon first quarter full moon last quarter so there's kind of a little chart on the bottom which shows you what each symbol means and then it shows you when that moon is each month I think this is always really handy to have I actually printed one out and put one up on my wall so then it's a quick reference I can see you know when I have to plan the upcoming full moon tea parties. And again, guys, if you want to get in on my full moon tea parties, that's my $10 tier on my Patreon. We have one tea party a month, but then also aside from the tea party, we've also been doing writer circles at least one Thursday a month, depending on scheduling, which reminds me, I actually have to start scheduling all of my 2024 events. So I think that's the next thing on my agenda. Um, but I think that's all I have for now. I'm going to bag these and send these out later on today and yeah I think I'm pretty much done with this project all right time to bag these up again patreon.com slash bohemian magic studios if you want to download any of this additional digital content to use this holiday season and for the winter and for the year for that matter because this you can use all year long this goes through next December so you're covered with the moon phases if you need to know that <laughs> all right I'm I've been rambling too long so I'm gonna bag these up and get ready to go Thank you so much for joining me in the creation of these magical winter wonderland goodies. I really hope you enjoyed watching my creative process as I put together these Yuletide packages for my patrons, friends, and family. It really warms my heart to be able to put these together and spread the holiday cheer during this time of year. The holidays are a time that can be very fast-paced and oftentimes stressful, but taking the time to create something magical with my hands and even enjoy a cup of hot chocolate and a donut, or two, is a reminder to slow down and just enjoy the moment. Just a reminder that you can find all of the digital downloads for the content you saw in today's video through my $1 printables tier on my Patreon, including the sewing pattern for my mushroom felt ornaments, as well as my woodland animal card design, hot chocolate packet labels, and winter warming spell, and even my 2024 moon phase calendar. 
You can find all this and more at patreon.com slash bohemian magic studios. Thank you so much to all of my patrons for making this content possible. Don Miller, Luminae Meredith, Paige Bellini, Jana Corbell, My Floral Pages, Jennifer Lee, Gina Marie Clark, Anne McLaughlin, Jen Reikley, Jessica Franrath, Heather Johnson, Shelley Hitch, Rachel Carter, Michelle Zeman, and Dee Carubia. And thank you to my new free members for your moral support. Vegan Witch Art, Scooby-Doo, Dia Tumlin, Cherimoya, Aaron Z, Daisha Jessiman, Ashley McSevney, and Kelly Skelly. If you liked this video, please be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe, and click the notification bell to be notified when I upload my next video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon. Stay warm and cozy this winter, and have a happy new year!